first practically could sleep because I knew that we were going to see this great, big, huge, humongous, gigantic, eight-foot snake. <laughs> now, I've known a couple worms in my life and a couple <laughs> little snakes, but not eight foot, eight feet, something like that. I want to, before we get to the snake, I want to ask a couple people here a couple questions. Hi there, sir. Could you turn around that way and smile at whoever you want to smile? What's your name? Casey. What's your last name? Well. Okay, and do you like snakes? Yeah. What do you like about them? <laughs> Have you ever met an eight-foot snake? No. Would you like to go inside and meet, inside the cage and meet them? Yes. Oh, you're not going to let you go in there, okay? Let's go. I'm going to talk to a couple of you kids later, but let's go meet the snake and the snake person. This is Daryl, right? Yes. Nice to meet you. And um, why don't, could you tell us something about the snake? And then we'll get him out. Just oh, let me ask you specifically how old he is. He's uh, 13 years old. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> uh, what else? To, oh, when did, how long have you had him? For 13 years. 13. Did you get him as a little baby then, I take it? I guess. Yes. That's a good question. <laughs> Obviously, you did. How small was he when you got him? Oh, a little bit longer in a pencil. A pencil, okay. Now, uh, are there some people who are going to help you get them out? You are going to take them out, right? Yes. Do you need some help from somebody? Or are you going to get them out yourself? You have a couple of your daughters here. Do you want to Do come on over? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You, you're uh, Vicky, right? And that's your father there. And you Terry, you want to come over? Why don't we get out the snake and take a look at this thing? Oh. And while I go home, excuse me. No, no. Wow. Hey, grab it. Okay. Grab his back a little, Vicky. Are you going to come on, sister? Okay. Whoa, excuse me. Does that mean he likes me? <laughs> How much? Okay. Okay, why don't you go around? Oh, it's sticky. Okay. Now, he's eight feet long, right? Yes. This is awkward. I mean, it's probably rough for him, too. Okay. Our, um, okay, how much does he weigh? 25 pounds. And uh, do you, can you be stretched out, or he doesn't like that? I mean, can you be pulled out, or to show a little more length? Okay, Jay. I don't okay. know if he'll let go. Well, oh, he, he sometimes doesn't let go. <laughs> wow, that's big. Why don't you girls come in around here so we can see them a little bit better? Why don't you go around the back? Let's go around. Do you want to just, just stand right here and watch from here? Okay. Now, what does? How does he eat? He eats uh, by constricting his food. Okay, which means kind of squeezing? Yes. And uh, what, what kinds of things does he eat? Well, I keep him on rats. On rats. Yes. Okay, big rats or small rats? Big rats. Okay, and uh, he takes, when you say constricting, he squeezes it? Yes. And that kills it? Yes. And then does he, like, cut them up into little pieces and eat rat no. wings and, or whatever? <laughs> no, he, uh, then he... Uh, Start swallowing that hole. Okay, how does he get a rat in that little mouth? It on hinges. Okay, and then he takes the hole. Are you? Is he under control? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or does he get control of the show? Do, now, when he, um, it's so fascinating. Can I touch him, or would he be scared to have me no, touch him? Oh, you can touch him. Okay. What part is safe to touch? <laughs> can I touch the tail down there? No. Let me feel. <laughs> Ooh, kind of interesting. <laughs> wow, kind of feels like a. Uh, Snake. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, um, okay, what else? I want to ask now. He takes the whole rat, and then how long does it take to digest the rat? Do you have any? I don't have any idea. He, he, it, uh, he eats. There's no way to know, is there? Because no. Because <laughs> you can't see the rat anymore. Okay. Um, how often does he eat a rat? A rat a day keeps the doctor away, right, kids? <laughs> I feed him about usually three a week. Three a week. And does he eat more some weeks and less others? Yes. And then, uh, uh, let me ask you a question, okay? Do you like this guy, Herman? Yes. What do you like about him? Mm, that we get to pet him, and he's cute the way he moves. Okay, can he be taken out and led around your house and let him roam around the house? Mm, sometimes if my dad would let him. And uh, you're not worried about him going out the front door and walking down to the store or anything? Mm -mm, because he won't, because the door's always shut and the cats always are put up. Oh, the cats, what, would it be bye-bye cat if they weren't put up? Yes, it's a color he likes. <laughs> <laughs> now, a cat can run fast. A snake could catch a cat, and how would it would it kind of sneak up on the cat? Probably sneak up. Yeah. Okay, why don't you stand over here? I'm going to see. Mika, 
Hi, Mika. How you doing? Do you have a question you'd like to ask? Do snakes hear? Ah, good question. What's that? Do snakes hear? Do who hear? Snakes. What? <laughs> what, what? Oh, I, yeah, I hear. Oh, snakes, okay. Do yes. they hear? Uh, they pick up vibrations with their tongue. With their tongue? They don't have ears then? They have ears, but uh, they're so far behind. And when they, when they, like now he's picking up sounds, and they, he takes them back in and it, I forgot what it is. It picks up particles in the air. Picks up particles it, in the air, okay. And it brings it back into, it's called a Jacobson organ, which is inside the brain, and tells them about the smell and the taste. Okay, and Jacobson okay. organ inside the brain that tells them about the smell and the taste. Okay, now, um, uh, this is so fascinating. Is he, do you feel that he's comfortable now or a little nervous? Because uh, it's a different situation. He's a little nervous. Okay, uh, another question. Do you have a question, Veronica? Um, not really. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, could he hurt a human being? Oh, yes, he could. He could strangle him. Okay, I'm going to go next door here. <laughs> Casey, would you stand right there? No. Um, but uh, could, would they? Oh, I wonder what circumstances would they use? Well, if they're not taken care of or anything like that, or not fed right. To protect themselves, huh? Right. Okay, uh, do you have a question? Would you, okay, do you have another question, Casey? I have two. Two, okay, we got, this will take care of the whole show here. Cybernate. Two yes. Snakes cybernate. Yes, For how long? Do. He usually goes, uh, about two, three months without eating? Yes, sometimes longer. Yeah, um, do, now snakes hibernate because it gets colder, right? Yes. But your house is warm. Yes. And he's in your house, so he still hibernates, it gets cool enough? Yes. Hmm. Uh, same type of hibernation or less so? I mean, did, would he hibernate more outside than, or longer outside, or don't well, you know? I think he hibernates approximately the same amount of time as he would if he was somewhere else. Okay, and when he hibernates, it's like for, it's bye-bye snake. He just is just a blob there. Yes. Huh. And he moves around every so often, but mainly stays coiled in the corner. Oh, he moves around a little bit, but mainly stays coiled in the corner. But he doesn't have to eat, right? Right. And your second question, sir. Why does he stick out his tongue? Okay. Why does he stick out his tongue? <laughs> to hear. <laughs> to hear. To hear. Oh. What's that you said? Why do he? No, I just tongue? okay. All right. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank you for bringing Herman on. I'd like to wish Herman many happy returns. Do you expect Herman to get larger? Uh, they're supposed to get up to about 12 feet. And so you expect that, huh? Yes. Okay, well, and how long do you expect him to, uh, how long do snakes like this usually live? Do you have any idea? No. I You're going to find <laughs> out. <laughs> yes, I'm going to learn. <laughs> Unless he outlives uh, us. Uh, he could be around 50 years from now being on Son of the Big Tomato or something. <laughs> what? Um, uh, I have one more question, but I forgot. No, it's coming back to me. Um, I can't remember it. I had a really good question. I'll remember it in about 20 minutes. Okay, do you have anything you want to say about your snake, the snake? Mm. Do you like snakes? Yes. Okay, do you like little snakes? Yes. Okay, Ooh, look at him. Hi there. Um, what do you think of the show? You want to go home, go to sleep? I. I know what I want to ask you. What, what's this? I don't think I asked what kind of snake this was. A red tail boa. Red, red tail boa constrictor. Would he want to feel the microphone, do you think? Uh, Does he feel it the time? Yes. Say something to the audience. Well, I'd like to get off of this show because <laughs> I want to go home and eat a rat and go to sleep. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, let's hear it one more time for the snake and you can put him away and let's hear it, kid. Okay, why don't you put him away and uh, girls, uh, why don't you come on over here and we're going to take a look at some artwork. Now this artwork uh, was done by some students in a school and uh, we're going to show you the names of who did it right after we show you the artwork.